Yo, capas. And welcome, CEO Amanda. For once in our life, can you please have mercy on us and try to, I don't know, remove Ingrid from the bar somehow? Oh, okay, because Ingrid is uh, German. Okay, now I understand because Oktoberfest, Oktoberfest beer, beer getting drunk. She's an alcoholic, right? Alexis, you have my permission to push our way to the front of the line. Have mercy on us and please take Ingrid out of here. Amanda, oh, come on, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? Especially since she's on vacation too. Alexis, that's an excellent. Excellent point. She's on vacation, so she can take a break and enjoy the sun and the various other distractions around. A little birdie told me that Ayumi would absolutely kill for a strawberry daiquiri. Amanda, Roger, that coming right up. Ayumi, you're a cat. You're not supposed to drink. Alcohol is very bad for animals. You should know that. Oi, careful with that. She's gonna want another five before she gets drunk and starts terrorizing Lorelei. Oh, because Lorelei is a mermaid. Fish, mermaid, Ayumi, cat. You have to think a lot about this. Um, don't think that's what she meant. Alexis, don't worry boss, I got this covered. Amanda, would you mind this testing something for me? Like I said, it's been a while since I last used the shaker, but I think you're going to like how this one is served. Ooh, that sounds like fun. I'd love to try it. So long as it doesn't have beer in the mix, it doesn't, right? Uh, you don't really mix beer with anything, do you? It's a good thing I hit the beer then. The beer is only for me, girls. Don't worry, I personally confiscated the entire stash of beer. It's not in a huge fridge in my room. Nobody's getting to that. Well, if if you confiscated that, it should be like a secret, but you're telling the exact location of the beer. So you shouldn't really do that. Oh, dang. Well then, I'd be happy to try it out. Maybe I can even give you a few pointers. Alexis, if you feel like it, I doubt you'd be in any condition to do so after I'm done with you. Hey girls, what the hell are you thinking about? Oh, oh, okay. So the photo is coming out after this answer. Uh, Alexis, what are you up to? That sounds omniscious. Alexis, oh, don't mind us, but you might want to sip yourself when she's done. If you're patient, I might even let you skip to the front of the queue boom wait what is this bar over here oh it's all the photos what do you mean all the photos why am i missing so many photos have you noticed that ayumi's tail is actually here why is alexis teeth look like a vampire teeth i dip my head to the drawers of this drawing amber morning whenever you have the time morning boss the coffee is on your desk although you might have to eat it you came in later than usual sorry but my coffee has to be hot every time amber that's your job because you're my secretary yeah sorry about that and don't worry the coffee is perfect Okay, so let's not complain about the, our coffee. Thanks, Amber. You're an angel. <laughs> She's an angel. If you're not too busy today, there are a few things I'd like to go over with you. Oh, yeah. You said you found someone new. She found some new, someone new? What? Sorry? Who? Ah, damn. You said that yesterday, didn't you? Just uh, give me a minute. Well, is that true? No one told me about this. There's a girl I think you'd like. She's a model. Suddenly beautiful, though not very successful. She might appreciate the opportunity, I think. You think it's a good idea? A model? I haven't had one of those before. What, Dita? Is she talking about Dita? I think this thread is a little bit old if she's talking about Dita not right now. Well, she's really beautiful and she's good at posing so I think she'll be fine here. I've got a good feeling about her. Do we have anything we can look up? Can you get me more info on her? I want something to look at please. I'll get a resume and a portfolio from her. If you wanna look it over with me later? Sure thing. Mind booking the meeting room for this? I'd say two hours should be enough. Would you? Should we book two hours in a meeting room this afternoon? It's basically the same answer but written different way. I'm pretty sure I know what's gonna happen in that meeting room. I've already done that for you and it's three hours. <laughs> You're trusting very much in me. Let's just say that. So we have time to talk and we have time to play cards because that's exactly what we're gonna do girl. You didn't think you'd get away that easily, did you? That should leave you enough time for our daily tasks too. Sorry, what daily tasks? In that, that case, I suppose I should clear 3 hours of my schedule. How the hell do you do it? Always 2 steps ahead, I swear. <laughs> I wanna know. Oh boss, you at least know what's best for all of your girls. But you're the best for me. So she's talking about Dita there. Look, her bio is there. So this is an old thread then. She looks very small in this picture. I don't know why. The angle is very weird. Cassandra, I'm curious about something. Just out of curiosity, how does an all-female tribe maintain its population? That's an actually a good question. Hmm. I was wondering, since all of your tribe is female, how do you guys, you know, make babies? What do you think is gonna be our answer to that? Miss me, it's been a while since you've seen me like this, hasn't it? I'd love to do this more often for you. You know, I love how you stare at me when I do this. <laughs> it looks like she's having a stroke right now. That's not like a human being will do that. Oh, I see how it is. Well, I guess it's time I return to favor. In show then. It's still weird when you put it in max velocity. Doing this is not 
you know, mm, I see I got your attention after all. I enjoyed myself. So it's only fair if you do too. So go on, don't be shy. And this is it, Max Velocity. That was the twins event. I don't think I had these animations yet. Summertime Chloe, she's using those things that kids use. And she's like, what, 25 or something? Well, if you don't know how to swim, I don't judge you, but you should know how to swim. We pay tribute to our gods. And if they find us worthy, they grant us new daughters. You've noticed the statues all over over the jungle yes but how does that happen i mean okay there's mermaids and girl cats or whatever ayumi is but woman getting pregnant alone not virgin mary i was wondering why they're all male hmm do you think some conspiracy theory is happening here uh the ones with yeah they're pretty hard to miss those are avatars of hikururu the god of uh, fertility and allow us to bear new blood for the tribe even the proper ritual is performed first of course without a ritual you cannot bear a child but avatars are often praised and worshipped as a part of everyday life here why do not trust that what do you have to do in order to um perform the ritual sound interesting tell me more well first you would have to visit the high priestess she will gather a covenant at a temple where the vessel the woman asking to become pregnant is submitted to the trial of the womb for the following four days she will be tied down on the altar while her often without pause wow four days without pause you're gonna be very sore for after that, especially if her disease incense is burned to ease this part of the ritual. Well, for four days, of course, you need something to ease out. It seems like there's more to it. Oh, that sounds fun. What happened? That doesn't sound fun. That sounds painful. That's painful for everybody. Woman or man? Painful. While she's the high priestess collects her homily incense and asks for Hitotl, the goddess of pleasure, sorry, to bestow her blessing on it. The blessed incense is then tasted by each member of the covenant to a certain its purity. If the vessel is capable of bearing children, the taste of her should send the priestesses into a frenzy to celebrate a successful ritual. They will then honor it total by commencing an Oh, so you don't know who's the father then? Wait, there's there's men involved in this? Somehow there's gotta be a man doing all of this, right? I don't know, I may be wrong. So where does Ikakura seed come in? Wow, that's amazing. I want to know the answer for the first question. The ritual only ensures fertility. They would still have to worship Ikakura like any other time. Oh, oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, are you becoming- uh, Is she becoming uh, right now? Why are you doing that with the statue? I swear to God, Cassandra, if you get uh, you fired. Wait, she goes from Kelly the actress to Grace the painter. We have uh, Laura, freeloading. You've been freeloading me for weeks. Are you going to do anything about it? Or are you just going to leech off me like you did with that? Ooh. And when I thought that things with my stepsister were better, they're not really. You think you're gonna move out of my apartment? anytime oh so she's been living in my uh, apartment since i brought her there i don't like the situation any more than you do but as long as the creditors are still looking for me so i can leave they'll be turning this city upside down looking for me to be fair lucky i still turn up to work oh i'm lucky but you're the one who needs money i have 20 other girls besides you know lara good luck paying them back if you stop turning up to work that's my answer. If you don't turn up to work, you don't have the money to pay them back. Not that you do anyway. You just can't seem to hold on to it. You never have money. You let other girls work from home. Why not me? Don't be silly. That would mean I trust you. Which I don't. And you still haven't paid any rent. Because that would mean you stay in my apartment around my things even more than you do now. It doesn't solve the issue of you freeloading. It makes it even worse. I still care about rent more than anything. Rent? Isn't till you fall asleep enough for payment? Well, I thought you were my stepsister, not my sure as hell doesn't count as a favor for me. I barely even get off. Are you joking now? If that's the way you treat the other girls too, it's a wonder they haven't run away screaming. I only treat you like that. You get special treatment. And it's not my fault you're so many times you can tell a good of a bad one. Jesus Christ got roasted there. Maybe I should try one of your places. Uh are you talking about our belly button? No, you're special like that. And since you don't seem to be satisfied with any other why don't we try something new if it gets you off my back and don't worry about me little brother i can tell good from bad just fine you'll just have to work harder if you want me to enjoy it oh is that right laura oh you'll enjoy it all right you've wanted my since you were 15 calm down with the ages there so don't you dare lie about it who said anything about you i told you before it's my turn now Woo! stubborn ass you think you're 
you're so high and mighty with your monster. Oh, now it's already a monster. Can you already having fun with it? Isn't it, sis? Isn't it, sis? It's not like I enjoy doing this, you know? It's just for your sake. It's always for my sake, yeah. Because I make you do it, don't I? And we are going into... <clears throat> Next thread! Do you like this, Maria? We got Maria the police girl. Oh, I finished all the messages with Laura for now. Okay, so Laura... It's on my pocket. Laura is on my pocket now. Where's Laura? So now we have time for the other girls and stepsister, you step aside. Let's go with Lizzie. Let's do something fun. Do you feel like doing something fun today? That sounds like those uh, scams. Do you wanna do something fun today? Please send me money. Something fun being? We are playing this game, we know what's something fun. I'm always up for fun. I don't know. I'm kind of bored of sitting here all day licking nothing but lollipops. I want something more meaty today. Well, all the pops are not very meaty. It's like something I can really choke on. <laughs> You can leak any time. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Maybe some other time. I think I'm fencing a big taco today. What? That's not what I was talking about. That was not what I was thinking about. And something fun is definitely not eating a taco. All right, girl. If you're gonna eat a taco, go right ahead and hit a taco. Do you think we can order him? I mean, yeah, that works too, I guess. You're lost. Go ahead. As long as it doesn't stink up the entire place. She's gonna fart really bad. Oh, you're so so about it it's adorable tell you what give me a few days to get back into shape and we'll see about that okay i'm also gonna need some um materials if you get what i mean well you're not talking about taco or chorito or burritos or whatever are you you can also drink some pineapple juice oh okay i, I heard about the pineapple juice if you want to do something nice for me too mm. And how do I know you're going to put out? All right, now you're just messing with me. Probably she's messing with you. Maria, the police girl. When a city is small enough, accidentally running into the same people on a daily basis is a given. As it stands, Maria seems to be the only traffic officer in the entire city. Of course she is. Why wouldn't she be? She's pulled the CEO over more times than she cares to remember and arrested or fined him at least half of many times. And because of that, she's just joined this company. In between all the flirting, cuffs and men handling somehow ending up in the same cell together didn't seem so unlikely so she likes sitcoms hot cocoa and steak tartar oh no that's disgusting mr dim doesn't like steak tartar this likes dubstep vanilla ice cream and sci-fi are you calling me a liar sir me i will never across my mind cross my heart i'll even tell you a little secret i love having my hair pulled three times my size does that basically 90 percent of men and guess what? I'll be wearing braids. What's braids? I'm joking. I know what's braids. I believe it when I see it. Hmm, all right. Let's see. I trust you on this one. Should we trust her? I don't think we should trust her. Oh my, I did say your uh, but Didn't think you were that uh, I know my taco was really, really meaty today. I told you I wasn't joking. Just pull those braids like she's yours. Like, come on, girl. Let's go with our little pet girl. Is there anything in the entire office that you haven't rubbed up against? Well, I tell you one thing that she hasn't rubbed up against. My can of Red Bull. Why do you all scroll and rub yourself against my legs? It's territorial marking. Is that what cats do? That's why they're rubbing against each other? I didn't know that. I know that dogs pee everywhere so they can mark territory. I didn't know that cats rub against stuff to mark territory. That's a new one. Okay, guys, I'm gonna stay for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Say goody goody. And of course, kisses. And bye.